Hi guys, it is July 14, 2018. You see this plant? In Massachusetts, I don't know when it was, like 2008, around that time, I was cutting down this plant. I didn't know what it was called. But the owner of the property came out and said, oh, that's a dangerous plant. You should use um, protective gloves. And I looked at it and I thought, well, okay. Um, I did. But apparently this plant is an awful lot more dangerous today considering the UV rays. The UV rays. Not a pretty picture. In the burn unit of a I don't know, Virginia Community University Hospital Medical Center, 17-year-old, cut down a giant hogweed. That's what it is, a giant hogweed. And this hogweed has a sap that can get on you, and you don't feel anything, but get out in that sun today with these UV rays, the ozone layer, God, don't you wish people would just do a little bit of research to find out that no, it's not your air conditioning that is destroying the ozone layer. It's militaries. It's the geoengineering. All right, so he cut down this hogweed, got sap on his face and arm, and was then out in the sun, the UV rays, are so intense now. Came home and his skin started peeling off. His skin started peeling off. So all I'm saying to you is be careful of that plant because it is very dangerous. Um, he was the first patient to be treated at this medical center caused by the injury caused by the injury caused by the this toxic plant the first doesn't that seem odd considering that it literally I think like three layers of his skin peeled off peeled off and he's the first victim seems that that plant has become very toxic now nothing happened to me and I was already chopping it down before I decided to put on those protective gloves. But now it will literally peel your skin right off. Just want to say there are very strange things happening to people. This is Jane Tandy, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. If I'm not Jane, I apologize. But she just posted this video two days ago. And the skin is peeling off of her hand. Her daughter, the skin is peeling off of her feet. So, I'll link below to everything. Um, we do now have a real exponential increase in tick and mosquito and flea infections spreading rapidly. All right. Um, Look at how the New York Times starts off this article. Farewell, carefree days of summer. Care, farewell, carefree days and nights, 24-7, living in the United States. Number of people getting diseases transmitted by mosquito tick flea bites has more than tripled in the United States since 2004. At least nine such diseases have been discovered or newly introduced, New York Times putting in your face. These diseases are being introduced to you by your biowarfare departments of the United States. Oh, and so many Americans for decades have had conversations. How could those Germans have let those Nazis take over? Well, I now understand. Willful ignorance, fear, 
uh, just people going along to get along. It's easy. But today, with the technology that they have, well, now they have just paved a very clear road to allow a takeover. Um, yeah, use bug repellent. Use a toxic bug repellent to keep away the toxic mosquito ticks and fleas. Warmer weather is the cause. Climate change is the cause. But did you ever hear of where is it? It's called the Heartland virus. Never heard of that. This is a new tick-borne disease. Heartland virus. Showing up in the continental United States. The wh Where is it showing up from? They don't say. Heartland virus. It's believed to be spread by these infected ticks. Cases of Heartland virus disease have been identified in the Midwestern and Southern United States. And South Carolina, where I live, is one of those states. Um, the symptoms, fever, headaches, fatigue, being tired. Thank you, CDC, for defining fatigue because we have become so dumbed down, we don't even know what fatigue means. Um, muscle aches and diarrhea. There are no vaccines, but no doubt with this new one introduced to you Americans, there will be a vaccine shortly. U.S. travel warning out of Britain. Hey Brits, be careful of coming to the United States because the United States is toxic. 250 percent rise in diseases from mosquitoes, fleas, ticks in just 13 years, says report. And yeah, they always get in the climate change explanation. This comes out of South Carolina. These insect-borne diseases are on the rise. West Nile, Lyme, even the plague on the rise. Uh, recent rains may mean more insects. Well, we hardly have any insects here. But I will say this. The last, not last night, but for two nights this week, two nights, not during the day, two nights, I experienced itching all over my body. And I was like, what? is going on. I couldn't see anything. I could not see any bugs, any fleas, and I do have to be careful of that now because, uh, well, I'll explain later, but feral cat decided to become non-feral and make my apartment her home, and a stray cat decided within the same week to make his home my apartment. Um, so I have been very, very careful because fleas are not something I like, but I'm like, okay, something is, it only happened for two nights and I finally, with a, I'm not kidding, a microscope with a, uh, not microscope, a, um, magnifying glass, I saw this tiny, tiny, almost translucent bug. A bug I've never seen before. And that bug was what was causing all of the itching. Two nights in a row, haven't experienced it since. Very odd. Can they dump these things on you? Yes, they can. So, the growing diseases, many of which we didn't have here in the United States, Zika, West Nile, Lyme, uh, Chikungunya, Chikungunya, well, now we have them spreading rapidly all over, and 
Look at what this article says. And we don't know what will threaten Americans next. We don't know what's going to threaten you next. It's either going to be a dangerous plant, but clearly it's become more dangerous. It's going to become something very odd that's going to peel away your skin. Did I show you this? See, I can't even remember. Wow. Well, yeah, I think I did. <laughs> well, yes. it's going to peel away your skin. You don't know what it is. Or it's going to peel away your daughter's skin on her feet. Don't know what it is. I only just noticed this today. So, um... But I did a research of mystery illnesses and uh, brought it to the last month. And wow, check it out. How many people are experiencing these mystery symptoms? They don't know where it's coming from. Rashes that they've never had. Guys, I am telling you, the war is being ramped up. So... Brits, don't come here. Don't come here. You're just going to get sick. Uh, don't come to South Carolina because, well, you may get the plague. You don't know what you're going to get because we don't know what's going to happen next to us. But don't you like the phrasing of that? Don't you like newly introduced, don't know what the next threat will be, Whatever the sick psychopathic engineers decide, that will be the next threat. Diseases are widespread, difficult to control. Growing numbers pose a risk for the United States. How many people do you know are sick? Why are the illnesses increasing? Climate change, increasing threat, limited capacity to respond. More people are going to die. More people at risk. More germs. We're not fully prepared. Here's a list. And this is a CDC list of all the tick-borne disease cases. We've got 50,000 plus in Massachusetts. 12,000, close to 13,000 in Maine. In Maine. Um, 22,000 in Maryland. 51, New Jersey. New York, 69. 73 in Pennsylvania. Or the closest, 73 plus. Um, there are many more because doctors misdiagnose Lyme all the time. And the guidelines issued from the CDC are biowarfare guidelines. So they don't seem to know how to treat Lyme. They don't seem to know how to diagnose Lyme. There is a lab in California that had something like a 97% rate of diagnosing Lyme correctly. And for some reason, the labs in the Northeast can't quite figure it out. They come up with these false positives, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, a misdiagnosis of Lyme. Those are my diagnoses. I could have late onset, onset Lyme for all I know, considering the symptoms I've been experiencing. But yeah, wow, look at this 2016. Woo, did it shoot up. All right, when you see these rapid changes, it, need, it should beg questions in your mind that something is happening that might be deliberately engineered. These rapid changes do not occur without a deliberate engineering of these changes. So we have an exponential increase in all, virtually all disease, illness, syndrome here in our country. And I guess Americans are just happy with their, their explanation. It's climate change, really. All right, well, 
If you don't know that Lyme is a disease that was deliberately created and deliberately released on Plum Island, Lyme is called Lyme because the first diagnosis was in Lyme, Connecticut, biowarfare. If you don't know this at this point, you know, with the internet, it makes it makes knowledge easy to come by. There is no excuse for ignorance at this point. The only excuse is the individual made that choice to remain ignorant. And that is the most dangerous disease going on. And we've got an awful lot. We've got an epidemic of ignorance in the American people. And that ignorance is going to kill an awful lot of people. So, connecting the dots, Lyme disease and biowarfare, Physicians Roundtable, I suggest you listen, you circulate, you try to get the word out that, yep, we're at war, they're killing us. And All of these diseases have been created. And all you need to do is a simple search. Lyme diseases, biowarfare, and you'll come up with an awful lot of information that it is biowarfare. My God, the U.S. citizens, the American citizens, they have been experimented on by their own military for decades and decades and decades. Well, mystery illness, China, U.S. citizen, not a embassy employee. This mystery stuff, I'm so sick of reading mystery, 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 um, because it's not a mystery if you just do the research. When you have a knowledge base, you can connect the dots. So an American citizen traveling to China came back with those symptoms that our embassy personnel experienced in Cuba and China the symptoms ear complaints hearing loss dizziness headaches fatigue cognitive issues visual problems difficulty sleeping ultrasonic weapons and the ultrasonic weapons are being used throughout the United States so many of you experience the same symptoms I experience these symptoms and these ultrasonic weapons can be the cell phone towers, the radar stations, the extremely low frequency transmitter sites, the Gwen towers, your cell phone, the smart meter Wi-Fi. Well, I will link below to all of this information, and I hope that you just keep circulating it. You know, look, I don't know what to say anymore. Um, be careful of everything. I, what do you say? Don't drink the water. Don't eat the food. Don't breathe the air. And now... If you're experiencing these, you're suddenly very itchy, but you can't see anything, take a magnifying glass. You may see a tiny, 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 tiny uh, translucent bug biting you. All right. On that note, have a good day. Have a good weekend.